There's a special group in the Singapore Army trained to handle highly dangerous substances, such as lethal gases and explosives. Other than their robotic friends, this group comprises men who deal with bomb threats and others who decontaminate incident areas, such as these two men in gas masks. They are known as the Chemical, Biological, Radiological and Explosives Defence Group. Today, I visited the second group of men, these men behind the gas masks. They are the ones who deal with the chemical, biological and radiological threats. Behind these glass walls, the men are being exposed to what is commonly known as tear gas. As part of their training, they have to go through a gas canister change. Plus, expose themselves to the gas for a short period of time, as they shout out their name and rank. Hi guys! But inside the mask, it's really hot and stuffy. But I do know something, that this, this whole suit, which weighs about 3 kilograms, can protect the man for up to 24 hours. Depending on the situation, there are four kinds of suits which the men use. All suits have different functions and levels of protection. The one I tried out is a level D suit, the mission-oriented protective posture, otherwise known as the MOP4. Hey Justice. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey Justice, just now I didn't expose myself to the tear gas. Mm -hmm. So for you, how do you feel? You can't really take in deep breaths of air because it stings your eyes and your nose. So how about the smoke training facility? Why is it useful? In real operations, uh, we may encounter tear gas. So this is to acclimatize us to how it feels to actually be hit uh, stung by tear gas. Getting used to the mask starts from the basics. For example, doing a route march. You might think that's nothing special, but there's something different about this. It's done with a mask. To get used to life in the mask, many different aspects of training are done with their masks. They not only run with it, they also play in it. And there's a very valid reason for that. Because of the mask, inherently the field of vision will be uh, very limited to what's in front of you. When you try to speak, the, your voice comes out muffled. So you really need to shout aloud. And basketball helps in getting them used to operating within these limitations. Having to live, breathe and operate in this mask, each mask is personalised for every man. Although I usually wear a pair of glasses, with the, in the case of the gas mask, the first thing they do is that they actually measure your eye power and then come up with a pair of optical inserts so that you can see clearly during your, during your activation or whether you're training. As the suit becomes a part of them, they become accustomed to operating in this protective gear in stressful situations. To find out more about the men who deal with explosions, tune in to Cyberpiner TV next Thursday.